Empress Nefertiti Mumbi, a goddess of unparalleled beauty and wisdom, stands at the heart of her paradise, her eyes filled with love and hope as she watches over her newborn twins, queen and king. All newborns are born as sovereigns, queens, or kings, thanks to the efforts of nature and the universe's intelligence. Pure and undefiled, she or he is like an angel. She or he receives a massive flood of information from the universe through the still soft upper section of her or his head. Each newborn infant is endowed with qualities that allow him or her to become the wisest creature in the universe, godlike. It takes very little time for her or him to impart grace and delight on his parents. During this nine earth year span, she or he becomes aware of what defines creation and the significance of human existence. And everything she or he requires to do so already exists. Only the parents should not disrupt the actual natural structure of creation by isolating the child from the universe's most perfect works. However, the world of technocracy does not allow parents to do the right thing. What does an infant perceive when he takes his first conscious look around? He or she sees the ceiling, the border of the cot, certain patches of cloth and the walls, all qualities and values of a technocratic society's manufactured reality. And it is here that he discovers his mother and her breasts. It has to be this way, he concludes. As if they were rare treasures, his parents offer him toys and other objects that rattle and squeak. Why? She or he'll spend a long time attempting to figure out what's rattling and squeaking. He will attempt to comprehend them using both his conscious and subconscious minds. And then these same smiling parents will try wrapping her or him up in some kind of fabric, which she finds most uncomfortable. She or he will make useless attempts to extricate herself or himself, and the only way she or he can resist is to cry. A protest cry, a call for help, a scream of rebellion. From that point on, this angel and queen or king is reduced to the status of a destitute slave begging for handouts. The twins cries for aid break Empress Nefertiti Mumbi's heart. She moved swiftly because of her motherly love connection. She knew the importance of keeping her twins in charge. She needed to get rid of the technocratic nonsense. This means no birth certificates, social security cards, vaccines, formula, toys, or television. Instead, keep a birth record in the family Bible. While breastfeeding, nurse and connect with your twins. Spend time outside in nature. This will allow twins to have a more accurate perception of creation than all of your world's scientific organizations, or even many of your most distinguished experts.